After completing the regular season sweep of Minnesota on Sunday, Iowa basketball will try and turn the trick against the Maryland Terrapins tonight on the road at the Xfinity Center in College Park, Maryland. The Terrapins and the Hawkeyes have split the last 10 games. Iowa is 2-3 and three in this building. Uh, Xfinity Center celebrating its 20th birthday. Heads left of the circle, leaves it for j -Bo. Deep three on the way. Good. He's one for one. Oh, what a big start that is to get him off and going early. Keegan Murray drives inside, hits the jump shot. Keegan showing great strength. Bohannon forces him way out. He drives around him, gets in the paint, step back jumper, no good. Off the right of the iron, Keegan clears. Keegan brings it down himself at six foot eight, and he can fly into the lane, turn, shoot, scores again. Number 15's off and rocking and rolling. Five minutes deep in the game. Here's Keegan, quickly unties it. Backdoor lob and an easy set in off the glass for Keegan Murray. Bohannon is going to have to force something up. J Bo lets it go. Good. He rattled it in from 35 feet. Somehow I felt that one was going to go down with two defenders right in his kisser. Hey, that is incredible. That is Steph Curry like incredible shooting. Well, here's Bohanna. Jump passes to Keegan Murray or Chris Murray. He's open for three. He scores. Well, at least the Hawks are starting to match him from downtown. Bohanna back for Iowa. Lob back door. Nice catch by Keegan. Keegan with a drop step in the paint. Turns, shoots, and scores. And a foul call to man one. What body control. Bohannon's open again for another look and drains another three. Came off a low post screen and cuts the nets down with another three. His third in the first 10 minutes. 9.50 to play in the half. Iowa's lead is six. Toussaint scores off glass as he drove right around his man. McCaffrey shot fake drives into the lane. Uses up his dribble to Bohannon. He's loose in the corner. Another three good again. George Bohannon on fire, on automatic. Here's Chris Murray. Back to Sanford. He lets fly with a three. It's good. He couldn't wait to get that shot off. No, he couldn't. He was dancing over there. Here's Eulis. Gets in deep with the dribble to McCaffrey on the wing. Patrick for three. Good. And the Hawkeyes continue their red-hot stroke from beyond the stripe to Peyton Sanford. Shot fake. Now he goes to his left, throws it, scores it. Shot putted it in from 27 feet. Unbelievable. Peyton Sanford with confidence. And here's Bohannon. Lob after a screen and roll. Score by Keegan Murray. Six to shoot. Here's Keegan Murray with 6'8 hard right in his face. Keegan drives inside. Scores off the glass. Yeah, been a good first half for the Hawkeyes. Let's finish it out strong. Bohannon for three more from the corner. God! He is on automatic. 57-41. That'll be the score at the half. Maryland is puzzled. Yeah, three straight turnovers by Iowa. Keegan for three. Good. Boy, did that help salve that wound. 62-45 after Maryland had closed within 14. Patrick brings it down himself. Lost the ball, gets it back. Bohannon for three. Trail in the play. Curls it in. 65-45. Iowa has stretched the lead to 20. The big fella circles in on Tony uh, and then has the shot blocked away from behind by Keegan Murray. Jordan Bohannon comes up with a loose ball. Here's Perkins. A stop and go move. Gets to the basket. Plays it up and in. Hawks are running the Terps right out of their own gym. Bohannon's open for three. Scores. Oh, his Eon drive right now. This is uh, Stuck incredible. Automatic, Gary. That's eight three-point field goals for Jordan. One more. He ties the school record. Bohannon takes the dribble left wing. Step back three. Good again. I'll tell you, look at Robbie Hummel, who's on the TV crew. <laughs> He's got a big smile on his face. He's just shaking his head. Bohannon for three more. God! Double digits. Ten threes by Jordan Bohannon. Fran McCaffrey can't even believe it. <laughs> it is unbelievable. 30 points for Jordan. All on threes. School record. Ten threes for j -Bo. And Iowa will win it 110 to 87. Most points in a Big Ten game since 1995, Bobby. Yeah, that's impressive tonight by the Hawkeyes. Their preparation, their focus. The Heartland is brought to you by the University of Iowa Healthcare. Changing medicine, changing lives. And by Athletico Physical Therapy. It all starts here. 
It's Super Sunday, the day of the big game, Iowa, Nebraska. Bobby, this could be a track meet today. Both play at, uh, or like to play at sprinter speed. The Hawkeyes scored 102 points in a blowout win last year over Nebraska here in Iowa City, and then hung 96 on the Huskers two years ago on Mediacom Court. But Nebraska has firepower too, which will call on uh, an improving Hawkeye defense to be sharp and alert from the get. Patrick McCaffrey quickly into the front court. Pull up jumper, high post, right good. Hawks are two for two. It's four nothing. Hawks will inbound right of the goal. Jordan Mohannon gets it to Verbracha. Right back to Jordan. And there's a three. One for one. At 6'7. Freshman. And he loses the dribble. Strip got a little too fancy. Knocked away from him. Here comes Keegan Murray. A run out and a two-handed dunk. And Keegan undercut a little bit. Comes down awkwardly. And a foul. They did call a foul. I missed that. Here's Keegan for three on the inbound. Yeah. Look out, eight straight for Murray. Out top for Bohannon. He thought about a 30-foot three. Runs into Tomanaga. Here's a step-back jumper by Jordan. No good. Keegan Murray put back up. And now Fred Hoiberg will get the timeout. Bucks on a 10-0 blitz. It's 21-15 Iowa. 12 straight now for Keegan Murray. Here's Burge. Nice bounce pass. Shot up no good. Soft, soft shot effort by Derek Walker. Here come the Hawks running. Keegan Murray dunks it through. Joe Tucson. And here come the Hawks. Sanford for three deep. Good. Peyton Sanford. Very Jordan Bohannon-like. It is 26-15 Hawkeyes. Ahead to Tucson for Murray. Joe going in behind the back pass to Keegan Murray. And a bounce as only Joe T can do. And Keegan Murray. Talk about two guys on the same wavelength. Oh, you had to see it to believe it. Iowa runs a little figure eight weave and a bounce pass and a dunk to Chris Murray. Joe Toussaint has Nebraska's heads spinning a complete 360. That was just two-man basketball right there. High screen roll. 30 to 19. The Hawk lead is 11. Sanford, three more. Yes, sir. Just like he started the game in Maryland the other night. Hopped off the bench, drilled two jumpers. This time he's got two threes. Here's Toussaint driving in and scoring off the left side of the glass. A bounce pass in the paint to Keegan. Turn, shoot, scores. That is so money. So easy. <laughs> easy money. Aaron Eulis in for the first time this afternoon. Here's the red hot Peyton Sanford. Drive scores. Like a five foot seven point guard. Nebraska in the front court. Kobe Webster with it. Pass stolen away by Keegan Murray. Look out below. Two hands over the head. Smash. Well, Tony turns, shoots, and scores. Off the front of the rim to the glass. Keegan Murray. Here's a pass to brother Chris, and what a spin move in the lane. He took it in from right of the lane, dragged him out of there. Jump hook attempt, no good. Patrick McCaffrey rebound. A lob out for Tony Perkins, and a slam down at the other end. Take that, says the Iowa fast break. It's been a game of fast breaks here in the second half. Final score, Iowa 98, and the Huskers 75. The Heartland is brought to you by Hy-Vee, the official grocery partner of Iowa Hawkeye football. Hy-Vee, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. And by the University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. The awesomeness of college wrestling of four big programs, these environments. I don't, I don't know if it's just having the experience of wrestling in that type of an environment as much as, you know, you're used to wrestling in that type of environment. The stage is big, um, but our guys have been there. We're gonna be in a world-class facility and a world-class stage. We're fired up about it. Welcome in to Globe Life Field, the bout at the ballpark. Stephen Grace, Mark Ironside, is ready for the Hawkeyes and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Mark, uh, walking in here and just seeing baseball field and mats on the field here, like this is just kind of an awe-inspiring environment. This is definitely different. I really honestly didn't know what to expect coming in here. Obviously, I knew it was going to be really cool, unique, different. Tom Brands, he's just not letting all the hoopla and all the different things and distractions here since we've been here get to him at all, and I know that he's got this team loaded and ready to go. Wrestlers love the spotlight, otherwise they wouldn't be in the sport of wrestling. These guys, the bigger the stage, you know, the better they're going to perform out on the mat. 
Now we've got number two, Jaden Ironman for the Hawkeyes taking on freshman Carter Young. There's an overhook right there for Ironman and Young just immediately dropped all the way down to his knees. And then the Ironman comes around from behind for a two point takedown. This is where Ironman's typically usually comfortable. And he does get around behind him for a two point takedown. Move to 149 pounds, 10th ranked Max Murin for the Hawkeyes, taking on number 13, Kate Gilfeller. A nice spake into a snap, comes across, head to the outside shot, dumped it to the butt, couldn't finish, cuts across there for the double, continues to drive right for there. the two. That finish right there is one I was literally just talking about, head to the outside, cuts off to the doubles. That's where Mirren is tough. Boy, I love this. I love this. Mirren runs back to the center, gets set. G Feller's throwing his hands up in the air, crying to the referee about stalling. He's the one crawling to the edge every second. We just need to keep on building, keep on scoring points, and uh, you know, just getting ready to go every single day. Just going out there and just letting it fly. Caleb Young headed the outside shot right there by Caleb, trying to cut across to the double. There's a two-point takedown for Caleb Young. That's a big, big takedown for Iowa's Caleb Young right there here in the second period, Stephen. Tough, tough ride for Caleb Young right now. You know, I got to one shot and I got one takedown. Um, I think I start getting those numbers up. It's going to favor me a lot more where I don't have to depend on Ryan the guy for the third period. Alex Marinelli nice. double leg. The beautiful, the beautiful finish right there by Alex Marinelli. That's Man. a shot right there. You take someone off their feet like that, and there is no defense. Our, our guys won some tough matches. So if we took control of it, in, in your words, I would say it's because we we won some tough matches. Michael Kimmer for the Hawkeyes against number 10, Dustin Plott. So that leg is a ways away. Couldn't nice. quite get there, but he's able to cinch it back in, trying to cut across to nice. the double for two. Drops to the leg, almost got the nice. ankle. Missed it, but then was able to keep going as Plott was trying to kick away, and he grabbed both legs and trips him down for two. It just makes it look so easy. Kick a corner for the Hawkeyes. Guys, a little short up. drag right there. Gets off to the side, gets an angle. That's what we've been talking about. Look how much easier that is yeah. when you get a takedown. Once you get that angle, Warner will get the riding time point. He will win 11 to three. We move to the heavyweights to close things out. There he goes back to that snap, and that time elevates the leg and drives him right down for two. Man, that is some really, really good wrestling right there by Tony Cassiopeia. There, there you go, there you go, there you go. Good work. Circling around, and nine to one will be the win for Tony. Fun, different type of atmosphere. You know, it just creates some buzz, which is good for the sport of wrestling, and it's great when the Hawkeyes can do it and get the victory at the same time. Today's broadcast is sponsored by Xtreme, powered by Mediacom, the internet preferred by Hawk fans. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless and the official wireless provider of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Tonight it is the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Iowa coming off that tough loss at Michigan. 98 to 90 stand at 15 and 6 9 and 3 in conference play guess who kate martin gets it down to taiwo she'll fire a three left side got it yes, Tony. to have numbers clark hesitates at the free throw line drives in scoop shot two more for caitlin clark she really had that roll on the ball that's the only way that that made it over the rim weaves her way to the top of the key slips a pass inside sonato layup is good Put it right over the front of the rim. Step back three on that. <laughs> Makes it look she's easy. Got, she's got a little attention here the last couple oh days. I don't God, know if you've little, noticed. Just a little. Tears Clark. Angles left side. Splits the double team. Drops it inside. Sonato. Nobody around. And she lays it up and in. Left side. Taiwo wide open for three. Count it. Yes. Leave her open. Leave her open. She says. And Marshall had her shot blocked, but got it back. Fires again. That's a and shooter. And got it from three. That's a shooter right there. Drives the paint. Scoop shot up and good off the window. Great finish by Fierbach on that. It was contested and just ready to fit, get that finish done. Now Clark has a quick release and swishes a three-pointer just left to the top of the key. Maybe it's time for... CC to take this game over. <laughs> Clark, free throw line extended, left side, spins in the paint, goes up, contact, count it. Oh. and she's fouled. 
And Fierbach, a steal, yes. and tips it ahead to Clark, who picks it up, goes in, oh. out the layup. <laughs> no Kylie Fierbach, but... a great job defensively. Wow. Uh, uh, I think Minnesota came in and played much better than they did up at their, their place. Um, but I, I'm really happy with our fourth quarter. I mean, that fourth quarter, we were um, eight for uh, 12 shooting from the field. We were perfect 10 for 10 from the free throw line. I mean, we only had a, pus, a, a, a one point lead going into the fourth quarter. Um, I thought Tomi played really, really well today, both offensively and defensively. She has the highest plus minus of anybody on our team um, and uh, did a tremendous job. Um, defensively and, and had some de hard defensive assignments, but also offensively shot the ball well and had a couple steals for us. So really happy with Tony's play. Latham High Tech Seeds is proud to partner with the Iowa men's basketball team in raising money for every free throw made by the Hawkeyes all season long through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe promotion. All proceeds benefit the American Cancer Society and Coaches vs. Cancer program here in the state of Iowa. Latham High Tech Seeds, cheering on the Hawkeyes from the free throw line and helping with cancer awareness efforts all across the state of Iowa. I mean, I know, I know they're motivated to, well, to, to have a good year and give ourselves a chance to, to get to postseason, but I, I, don't think, I don't think last year specifically is, is motivating them that much. It's a completely new team and new set of goals, and you know, you guys have heard me talk before. I mean, we really don't talk that, about that stuff a whole lot other than you know, be the best you can every day and go out and, and play as hard as you can and see what happens, and we haven't talked about the schedule yet, but... Um, you know, the times we haven't got in, you know, whether I'm right or wrong, I felt like we probably should have got in. And, well, if we do well in the first <laughs> half of the season this year with the schedule we have, I don't think there'll be any doubt um, that they can say we played a tough enough schedule or the RPI is good enough. Every year we say we got good guys and, you know, this year we got good guys again. We got a lot of new guys, but um, we've just been really trying to gel, gel together a lot and you know, we're just excited to get outside, but yeah, I think uh, older guys have taken a really good um, outlook and approach at getting these new guys acclimated to what we do here. So yeah, we're just ready to go. And um, I think the new guys are ready to see what it's like to get going on a season. Oh, a tremendous amount. Um, just understanding how to move better and, um, you know, hand placements, all the little stuff. Um, majority just getting down the mound, taking care of your arm after that whole process and then, um, you know, working with Rob in the last few months is, I mean, he's a super smart guy and he's helped me learn a lot. And then watching older guys like Mazer and uh, Schultz that have all been through it, and, you know, the, they've been great mentors to me, um, giving me tips and tricks. So yeah, it's been, it's been good. This team has a ton of new guys, uh, a lot of new arms, obviously, and all the new transfers. The, the good thing about the transfers is they're older and experienced guys. Um, I think they've done a great job. They've really taken it and ran with it. You know, it's been a pleasure having them. And obviously we have some younger pieces that could contribute right away and have great stuff as well. And, you know, that's that's where I come in. It's, I've been here, I've caught a lot of arms, I've met a lot of people and just learning, like this part of the year, getting to learn and meet people and understand how they operate um, is the best thing I can do. Cause then you know what kind of verbal cues they may need or what I can do to help them if they're struggling or et cetera, et cetera. And I think this group's done really, really good with that. This has been a presentation from Learfield.